So we just showed that least squares and ridge regression have closed form solutions. However, all of that breaks as soon as you want to use an L1 penalty. So I'm just going to write down the least squares problem, but with an L1 penalty. Where, of course, this is just the sum of the absolute values of the lambdas. Uh, but here, there is no closed form solution, so there's no math to do here. <laughs> um, however, there is value in using L1 penalties. Um, so L1 penalties lead to sparse solutions. In other words, solutions that have not too many non-zero coefficients, right? So a lot of the coefficients are zero, and you just have a few, a few that are non-zero. And that's, that's kind of appealing if you want a solution that is more understandable, although in practice, it's better to just try to minimize the total number of um, non-zero terms. But let me try to at least explain intuitively why uh, L1 norms, minimizing L1 norms lead to sparsity. Okay, so let's think about um, what the level sets of L1, of the L1 norm are. So I'm just gonna draw a way to visualize L1 norms here on these axes. So I'm just in two dimensions. So I have lambda 1 and lambda 2. OK, so what are the level sets of the L1 norm? Well, I'm just going to plot the set of points where the L1 norm equals 1. OK, so what are some points on this uh, level set? Well, this point is, which is you know, the point 1 comma 0, right? The sum of the absolute values of the lambda is equal 1. Same with this point, negative 1, 0 as well as that point and this point over here. Okay, also the point 1 half, 1 half is on there because obviously 1 half plus 1 half is 1, and they're already positive, so that's fine. And same with uh, all of the other points on this line. Okay, same with this line, that line, and this line. Okay, so the level sets of this uh, L1 norm are a diamond. Okay, so let's draw a few more level sets. Let me, I'll erase what we have here and I'll draw a few more level sets. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea from that. Now, so it, this is what the level sets of the regularization term are. And remember, we're trying to minimize the regularization term, but also we're trying to minimize the squared loss. Now, the level sets of the squared loss are ovals, right? They're ovals. And um, they're, not, they're, they're centered at the least squared solution, right? So let me just draw that. There's a least square solution. And let's draw these oval level sets. Okay, so I hope you can see what happened here, which is that um, if you want to look at a combination of getting low least squares loss and getting um, good regularization, then you know you'd be happy with this point right here at the at the intersection right there, right right here. So that would be like a good a good point for you to pick to minimize the sum of the two terms, and often the um, the minimizer occurs uh, right on the axis, right? Because, because it's this diamond shape, these corners sort of jut out and things kind of bump into it. That's what happens with corners, right? You, <laughs> if you're walking around your room and you have a sharp coffee table, you tend to bump into it, even if you're moving kind of in a smooth way, right? Um, and so it's the same thing here in high dimensions. And uh, what happens then is... Um, is that the solution you end up with to try to minimize the combination of these ter two terms ends up being sparse because a, um, 
if you're right on that axis there, well, look over here, that means lambda one is zero. So if you're hitting these corners, right, the corners are the points where um, some of the lambdas are zero. So that means the solution is sparse. Now, the same thing doesn't really happen if you have L2 regularization, right? For L2 regularization, these things are spherical. So let's try this again, just with L2. So there's my level set for L2 regularization. It's a ball. And then when we bump into it, it's not going to be nearly the same thing. It'll be something like that. So we won't hit it. The, the axes are nothing special with L2 regularization, so you don't get a sparse solution. Thanks.